Hey everyone, we are back and playing some Vanifar Pod. I love this deck. And I had to take a break from it because it was not giving me the wins I really wanted. And not giving me the results I wanted. But I got some time before a new set comes out and uh, playtesting for some events. So um, we are just going to be jamming a bunch of Pod right now. So um, this was a... Kiki Cord Vanifar list that took 7th in an IQ recently. Um, looking at the base here for lands, we got a Botanical, 2 Breeding Pools, 3 Forests, Canopy, Island, Mountain, Plains. I like that they're playing the mountains here. Usually people aren't, don't play that. And I'm curious how good that actually is. Um, obviously this will give them the red source that they need to cast the Kiki, but it's their only red source. So it's a solo mountain, which isn't going to be enough to let you cast the Kiki. Um, so I find that rather odd, but, you know, they did well with it, so let's test it out. They're also running, uh, on top of the Botanical, there's the other fast land, so you got Razor Verge Thicket, two Temple Gardens, and then four Windswept, three Woodeds. In the one drops, we got just a bunch of one drop uh, Mana Dork, so we got four birds, three nobles. Two Thalios, which I'm a big fan of right now, so that's cool. Um, Scavenging Ooze, Scrib Ranger, of course. Three Wall of Roots, three Voices. One Bell Ringer, three Eldritch Evolution, one Ewit, three Reflectors, one Knight, one Rallier, three Restos. We got a Glen, four Prime Speakers, and just one Kiki and three Chords. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, list some, some items I might disagree with, but, you know, we're going to test it out before we make any changes, of course. Um... Then, hold on a second. Um, over in the sideboard, I did see a lot that I like in the sideboard. So, we got a Forge Tender, which is pretty sweet being at the one drop slot. You can fetch it up really easily with the cord as a result. Uh, the Kataki, I'm always a fan of right now. Remorseful Cleric, I like. Eidolon as well. The Three Negates. Uh, the Magus is, I think, pretty staple at this point. The Avalanche Rider, now that's interesting to me. A four drop. This used to be a pretty big staple when there was the four color pod list when uh, actual birthing pod was around. Because And you'd do some abusive stuff with this, blinking it and copying it. So I'm going to see how good it is now. Deputy I like. The two Geists are also new to me. So we're going to see how good that is. Is the Static Caster a solid choice? Finks and Knight of Autumn. So... I like a lot of what they're going on here and some choices that I'm not 100% on, so we will see how good they are overall. Let's uh, adjust this volume down. Let's jump into a comp league. And hopefully everyone's having a, a great day. I don't know when you guys are watching this, but hope you're having an awesome day. Pretty solid hand. We got a lot of ramp, evolution, and a prime speaker, and we got one combo piece already. So let's go ahead and keep this. Start off with the wooded, and we'll go fetch ourselves up just the force. And let's run off this bird and pass it over. That's much better. All right, let's run out this wall of roots. And we'll pass it over. Okay, conceded. Wall of roots too strong. Opponent concedes. <laughs> All right. So I want to bring in the Kataki. I want to bring in the Staticaster and the Knight of Autumn here, as well as the Deputy of Detention. 
I don't think we really want to see anything else. Um, I don't think Eidolon's worth it. It's usually too slow. The negates are, they're going to drop all that stuff out of their hand by that point. Um, I don't think the land destruction's worth it. Finx might be a blocker. That's like a consideration, but it's not going to be the end all there. So when I drop the scavenging ooze, I think the follies are too slow on the draw. So we're going to ship those as well. And the Glenelandra on top of that. Um, beyond that, is there anything else that we think would be better? Now, the voice is interesting. It can block something, and then obviously create a big threat on top of it. Um, I think coming down on turn two is a little bit better than the Finx. So I think those are all going to be the changes we're going to make. So let's make that swap and submit it. Alrighty. A lot of three drops here, and we're gonna be able to start playing them on turn two, um, and then get some even more value once we draw the fourth land with this resto. So I think this is a pretty good keep. We'll go ahead and nab it. If they, uh... oh, this is hard in skills. Still a solid hand that we have here for ourselves. So let's go windswept here, and let's go fetch up a forest, and let's run off this noble, and we'll just pass it over. They don't play anything too threatening here. We're just going to Knight of Autumn take out that Hardened Scales. I think most creatures they play, we're going to be fine with. Yeah, that Arcbound's fine. We might take a big hit from it for one turn, um, but that in itself is going to be okay. So let's preserve a little bit of life total. We'll grab the planes, and we're just gonna run out this Knight of Autumn and blow up, blow up the uh, Hardened Scales. And they can swing at us for a big amount with that Arc Bound. We'll take the hit. And then we're, we'll kind of see how things develop, whether or not we want to drop the Reflector Mage and just bounce the Arcbound, getting rid of it, so the next time it comes back down, it's just a 1-1. One, one. Or if we want to um, play around what they're doing and then um, block with the Restoration Angel and bring in the Knight of Autumn and a Blink and destroy something, so. They grabbed the Mox, they played it. We got a Hanger back. We got another Ancient Stirrings, pretty solid for them. And they've got an Arcbound Ravager. Okay. Don't want to block here. Just take that hit. All right. So they got a lot of. Uh, let's see what. What's the worst thing they could do next turn? They could run out an Arcbound, activate their Ink Moth, and swing all out. Would that be that bad? Or are we okay with it if we bounce the? Worker. Okay. So I think what we're going to do, because we do have the Eldritch Evolution in hand here, um, is that we're going to pass the turn and we're just going to plan on playing the Restoration Angel, using the Knight of Autumn to take out whatever block we need and then blink it to blow up whatever else we need. Um, the reason being is once it goes back to our turn, we can use Elders Evolution, sack the Knight of Autumn, go get Kiki, and win the game. So we're just going to go ahead and pass turn here. Only thing that can really mess this up is a um, Walking Ballista. Ink Moth is not an issue, so that's fine. Let's block the arc, uh, the worker. And then, go get ourselves another forest. Drop this Restoration Angel. Blink the Night of Autumn. I would love to use that ability. 
and I would love to use this ability and take out this arc bomb and see what they want to do in response. They're gonna sack the worker, throw those counters on the hanger back, and they're gonna pump the hanger uh, the hanger back as well. Okay, just trying to maximize that damage, and we're fine with all of that. And don't really care. Death awaits our opponent. And now the max opal's offline as well, so we're just gonna sack this knight of autumn. We're gonna go get this Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki's gonna target that Restoration Angel. And our opponent's gonna concede, starting off the night awesomely. Got the got the one out. Alrighty. That was sweet. I would like to play first. Hmm. It has potential because we can go Wall of Roots right into an Eldritch, but we're doing a turn like three. It's kind of slow in that. If they have interactions, we're going to get punished. I think I'm fine to keep it. I think anytime they have interaction, though, we're going to get punished, right? <laughs> we want an opponent that's just going to leave us alone and try to play fair decks. I was sitting next to someone at um, the SCG Cleveland Open, and they were playing this deck in day two, and that was pretty sweet. There was a, there was a person that I knew from one of the stores in uh, uh, one of the stores in Michigan, and they uh, they branched off and created their own team, which was really exciting for them. So, I'm really interested in seeing where they go with it. I feel like my team needs to pursue some sponsors and such and start creating actual content for people. I'm gonna start egging them on for that. Ornithopter, okay. It's a whole lot of cards. Ooh, they're gonna drop a threat right now too. Wow. Pretty good turn one. We just played a land. Alrighty. Well, we can run out this wall of roots. And then run out this bird. And we can pass it over. Champion, okay. They're gonna go for the hit or they're gonna just suit the big guy up? Okay. That's fine. That's a three turn clock. Um, possibly a two turn clock. Let's see what we can do here. Green, run out the noble. Then go Eldritch. With three mana. Fetching up Vanifar. We can go fetch up. Let's see. So we could go fetch up the Knight of Autumn, blow up the Cranial. That wouldn't be bad. The can we sequence this? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go fetch up a land. With 
five mana, a wash one with the untapping here. So we can go Bell Ringer, then Evolution, use the Evolution, sacking the um, Bird of Paradise to go get a Knight of Autumn, blow up the Cranial Plating, then next turn, use the Eldritch Evolution again on the Knight of Autumn, go get a, a Kiki, and then I think we win. So we'll go Bell Ringer. Untap our bird. Sack the bird. Night of Autumn. Destroy that cranial. And we'll pass it over. It's another cranial, that's fine. It's not going to be enough for lethal. They got no cards in hand, so we should have this in the bag. Looks like our opponent's making us go through this, but it's alright. Nature of the deck. Nope, they're going to concede once they figure it out. Awesome. So same thing here. I want to add Static Caster. I want the Knight of Autumn. I want the Deputy. And I want the Kataki. Let's get rid of the Glen, the Thalios, and the Ooze. Fun times, fun times. Mm -mm. So we're going to keep this because it has a turn two Kataki, but this is a pretty suspect hand. Because <laughs> we've only got one land here. But after the turn two Kataki, we'll be able to go into a Wall of Roots and a Noble, and then we can start courting and everything, so... Ooh, and they got a Dark Steel Citadel to start off with, and a Mox Opal. We'll see how this plays out for them. It's saying GG. Wonder if that means they have an amazing hand or if they're just ready to die. <laughs> that land but we got Kataki okay they had the Gelf last <laughs> that's not good for us <laughs> oh. we really uh, we really needed that to stick around I 
Okay, can we stay alive now? Um, I think no matter what, it starts off with us going wall. Do we have one run out of noble or a voice? Voice can block, but I think we're dead to that uh, ink moth. If it comes back to our turn, we can cord to stay in this game a little bit, um, getting Knight of Autumn, but there's a good chance we're dead. So I think they're going to activate that Ink Moth. They could pump the Ink Moth with Blank Moth or sack it to the Arcbound Ravager. Swing with the whole team, double signal pass, sack the rest to the Ink Moth, and we're dead. Yeah, yeah, we are wrecked. This is over. As long as our opponent swings first, get the battle cry, and then sack, we're done. I don't even know what they have to do. They can just sack everything to it, and they probably still win, so. Why did they have to have the Galvlas? It wasn't even a win. We were just going to make them sack a bunch. <laughs> oh man, that's 10, that's 10 in fact. Just as we figured, we're done. Alright, so here we have the decision if we want to bring in the Thalios to slow them down. And I feel like I like the Thalios over the voices. So let's run that. If we can just mess with their plays a little bit, that should give us enough time. Yeah, that's a good chance they always have it. It's kind of like how Tron always has, you know, the lands, even if you mess with them and blow things up. And they always seem to have the one that. Um, they always seem to have the one you blow up to when you're whenever you play against Tron. You're like, oh, I'm gonna blow up, I'm gonna blow up, I'm gonna blow up the power plant. That's the right one. Boom! They got another one in hand. I only say that because that's what I do. <laughs> Okay, this hand's not bad. We got multiple lands. We have the Reflector. We can Eldritch Evolution, and we got Arrestos. So we're going to keep this. Bird into Wall, into Resto or Eldritch. It's pretty solid. We might be going Bird into Wall, into... Um, Reflector into Resto Reflector into Eldritch to win the game. And how's your day going, Brown Rice? It's a whole lot of zero drops. better positioned right now to just run out the reflector and bounce the signal pass because we're saving ourselves for damage or do we want to take the hit um i guess three damage right because we're blocking the mem knight anyway with wall hmm. reflector it well, no, I guess Reflector saves us 8 damage over 2 turns, right? But we gotta shock ourselves if we want to do that. Mm -mm -mm. 
Decisions, decisions. It's either that. Or just evolution right now. And uh, go get ourselves a Kataki and make them wipe most of their board. I, I think out of all of our options there, I think, I think I like just running off the Wall of Roots, and then next turn we can either Eldritch Evolution or Reflector Mage. Yeah. Hmm, do we, or do we wish? If we Kataki, we're going to be wiping, um, yeah, you know what, let's be savage. Why not? Why not? I guess Static Aster is also really solid. Takes a bunch of things out, but Kataki seems to do it right now. I know, extremely rude. How are you liking the Sultai's teachings, Zach? Is it very inconsistent? That's a bummer. surprised they run out the spring leaf drum right because it's just making them burn mana on it unless yeah i'm not really sure why they do that what are you finding inconsistent about it every time no it doesn't seem like it alrighty mm -mm -mm. so what kind of numbers are you playing around with to uh, figure that out I think we're just going to swing, hit them for two, and then we're going to plan our rest wing and blocking one of those creatures. fact that we uh if we hit a blue source we could make them lose their glimmer void as well <laughs> Yeah, that does seem like that would be quite the uh, problem to figure out because I feel like you do need, like, don't you need just need, like, four teachings and four reclamation stage, though? Because you always want to hit those. Or 
Or is it you're getting an issue where you're drawing so many of them that you're getting punished as a result? All right, starting off 2-0, pretty sweet. Take that play again. Okay, this hand's pretty sweet. We're gonna have a turn two Thalia, which is gonna be pretty brutal against most decks. And then we got a Knight of Autumn, we got an Ewit. We do need to draw some more um, more spells to actually let us advance our game state and win the game, but we've got a lot of interaction right now, which is sweet. So why don't we just start off with a Windswept and we'll pass it over. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I haven't actually played that deck. Um, one of the people wanted me to play it on stream, but uh, I, I didn't know how good it is on stream to watch because it's a lot of, like, you're going through the motions. I think this Thalia will be pretty sweet in slowing them down a good bit. Okay, they're on a one lander. That's fun for us. Downside is we have to hold the Knight of Autumn here because... Uh, we really do want to use that against enchantments here. Mmm, they're on the hard one lander. Alright, well, it's not bad. Let's, let's start swinging. I really don't want to use the E-Wit here um, yet, because I want to hold that up for another creep, uh, something of value over just getting a land back. All right, Vanifar's fantastic. Don't really need to risk our Thalia at all here. We just want to untap and we should have this game. Ooh, they're gonna path us. Okay, that's rude opponent. Spirit Dancer, okay. Really need draw something of substance here. Yeah, Jace is sweet. I've seen a lot of decks uh, play him to uh, just just get those crazy draws, and then they use him for the alt to win the game. So I never mind a Jace in a deck like that because he is your best control answer, your best dig, and your best win con. Ethereal armor, they're going to draw a card. Alright, let's run out the Vanifar. And we're going to also run out this Knight of Autumn. We'll blow up that Ethereal armor. And let's just pass turn. Rancor is fine. And they shouldn't be able to daybreak Coronet. Hyena number is also fine. Take the seven. 
Okay, so that's really awkward. We drew the Kiki Jiki. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, what are we gonna do now? But we were just gonna win until we drew it. This, oh, let me double check. Does yeah, this list does just run one. <laughs> uh, okay, what can we do here? We can prime speaker away the knight of reliquary. Drop a and go get a. Um, Glenelandra, and then we can play E wet, get back the Night of Autumn, and blow up the uh, the Hyena Umbra. Or we can pot away the Thalia and blink the Spirit Dancer. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that one. So, okay, let's get the Night of Autumn gone. <laughs> Oh, out of all the draws that could have happened, that's the one that we didn't want to happen. Because <laughs> we cannot cast it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Glenelandra there. And then we'll Ewet. Back the Knight. Knight. We'll blow up that hyena umbra. And I think we're passing it from here. Uh, do we start swinging? Yeah, I think we do. We gotta put a clock on them at some point. There's not another red source in this deck. There's only the one of Mountain. It was one of the things that I found kind of odd um, about it. So let's counter that Rancor. They're in main phase two here. So what we can do at this point is, because I, I don't really want to give up our Glenelandra. It's going to be pretty huge to win this game, I think, using it with like Restoration Angel to blink it. Uh, we might be best off just letting this resolve. We're in main two, so they can't swing at us. And then we can go and fetch up a Reflection Mage just to bounce the Spirit Dancer off the board. And then we can crack at them and then crack at them again. Mm -mm -mm. Or is that kind of irrelevant? No, yeah. No, this is fine. We're in main two. We'll let them, we'll let them get this. they're not getting hexproof on this creature at all and then we'll be able to blink it and then take over the game i believe we do have to give up our thalia for it let's make sure if we actually have to do that let's draw a card Bell ringer. Okay. Well, that gives us another trigger, and that's good, actually. Um, so let's take a look. Reflector is still the big thing I want to hit here. Um, we could sack the noble, go get a scrib ranger or an ooze, and then go get it. That might be the best bet here, just so we don't 
have to uh, do it and then we can bell ringer for another trigger so the second noble scrib tap that untap return this sack the scrib get the reflector bounce that Get the white bell ringer out. We can, no, I like this play. We can sack the reflector mage, right? Go get restoration angel. Resto will blink our Ewit. And we'll use the ability and go get back our reflector mage. All right, they're gonna concede. Yeah, we're gonna be able to just lock them out of the game there and then beat them down, so that's sweet. Um, so I wanna bring in the negates here, the deputy of detention and the knight of autumns for sure. I don't think we really need anything else. Yeah, I think we're good on the rest of it. Don't need ooze here. It's the only easy removal, <laughs> I suppose. I guess we're not really going for the grandier game. We can cut the voices. <sighs> and I think we can cut. Do we want to cut one prime speaker? Not really. I think I'd rather cut the accord here. Let's try that. So this is another interesting hand. We have just one land, but we got a lot of great inter interactive spells, so I think we're willing to risk it. So Okay, another land is great for us here. We're gonna run out the noble. And we'll pass it over. Mm, they got Spirit Dancer. So we can either hold up a breeding pool for the negate. I think we're best off just running out the Thalia to slow them down. And then we'll play the breeding pool tapped. And then we can really interact with them from that with either the Reflector or the Knight of Autumn. Because if they throw some uh, enchantments on the core, we can kick it off of them. They should really only be able to cast one spell here. Is great for us. Let's bounce that spirit dancer back to their hand.
Okay, ethereal armor, that's fine. And rancor, okay. We'll take the five here. Okay, I kind of like the idea of running out the Knight of Autumn, blowing up the Ethereal Armor, and then holding up Negate for our opponent here. And then next turn, we're going to be able to cord the Knight of uh, the uh, cord, and then go get Resto to Knight of Autumn again. So I mean, that's going to be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty strong. I would say. And I think we're going to keep swinging here. We'll hold uh, the Reflector back on defense just in case we do want to block. Alright, Spirit Dancer again. It's fine. Anna Umbra. Oh, wait, Arnold Thalia, I'm dumb. Okay, they're shipping it back to us, which is good. Ooh, we just have Restoration Angel. That's sweet. So. Hmm. Why don't... So we could swing with the Reflector, see if they block. And if they do, we can Resto our Knight of Autumn and punish them. And if they don't, we get three damage in. going and a spider umbra seven seven and if they swing they die so they're gonna have to pass it back to us sure Alright, Kiki's an irrelevant draw. So let's see. We can cord, get reflector and bounce it. We have to tap out for it. So are we best just passing here? Swinging, they would block two creatures, we lose our resto. And we would deal them just four damage, so then that's not good enough. So, yeah, we're just gonna pass here. I guess. Yeah, no. Not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of... Because we could cord for something right now, but I think our best bet's just to pass and see what they do. Rain core, okay. Let's respond with a cord now. I 
And I think we're just going to cord for three instead of four, because if we resto, they could path us in, re in response. So we'll cord for three. We'll go get ourselves another Reflector Mage, bounce the Spirit Dancer, and then that should be game. Oh, I guess we can Deputy it. That's good, too. If we Deputy it, they could path it and get it back. If we reflect her, it goes to their hand, and then we should be able to kill him on our turn. Yeah. I guess if they path it, they path it anyway, right? Yeah, we'll deputy. Mm-mm-mm. Yep, okay. Should have reflected. Should have reflected. That was a mistake. Still don't think they can swing. Fortunately for us. Yeah, so we definitely punted that. We definitely should have just reflected her there. Fortunately, we were rescued that our opponent was so low on life that they couldn't swing and we were going to kill them on the crackback. But yeah, definitely a punt there. So. So this is sweet. Already three and O. Oh. Already get our money back. Crushing people so hard, they don't even want to play around with us. Just making us wait. Looks like we got an opponent, and this is a pretty solid hand. Let's see, we're gonna be able to go turn one, noble, turn two, bell ringer, and turn three, prime speaker, and then we would win on turn four. Mm -mm -mm. Is this shadow or is this suicide zoo? Sacred Foundry. That's probably it. Oh, I'm playing the nobles out in case the birds get shot. I wanna like I feel like the only way we're casting Kiki is with two birds and playing that mountain, so. Oh. Is this Swiss just I don't I don't know what this is. Bobble and all red white lands? Some kind of aggressive deck. 
Not that aggressive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I still want to play the bell ringer here in case I need to block, so I'm just going to pass. I guess I could have bell ringered and played the bird. Still been able to block her, so. Bushwhacker kicked. Okay. They'll swing. A little bell ringer. Block this bushwhacker. See if they want to send a bolt bell ringer's way. If they do, that's fine. Just gonna run out this Vanifar because if we get to untap, we're just gonna win. And so they have to direct their spells towards Vanifar if they want to take it out right now, which is also fine with us because we got a backup Vanifar and that means they're depleting their resources. So this is eight Wackman, right? Mm -mm -mm. Well, if this is eight whack, oops, we're just gonna resto, blank our bell ringer. Sack Resto and go get a Kiki. Infinite tokens. They get seated. All right, so on the defensive plan here, the gates might be worthwhile. I don't think the rest of these are. I definitely want to bring in these. These are my maybes here. Just because I want to clog up the board as much as possible here. I don't, I really don't think we need to be on the, uh, the Kiki plan, I don't believe. I think as long as we're just clogging up the board enough, we're going to be able to take it over and win anyway. So not even stressed out about that. So I'm going to actually strip us of our combo. And I'm going to strip us of some of this digging mechanic because I, I want to make sure everything that we get is impactful. So let's see if this is the right way to go about it. Because then everything that we're doing, we're just dropping uh, answers to their board, playing a very reasonable game, I would feel. Oh, this is awkward. If this was a blue source, this would have been great because we can negate their combo. But right now, we're looking at like two uncastable spells and then the night of autumn sweep but we're not getting it out really fast so i think we can do better than this yeah 
Yeah, okay, this is much better. Let's keep this. Well, hmm. I think we're going to ship the Ewit cuz I no, let's ship the Eldritch. So, I was like, so if we keep Ewit, we can Ewit back the knight and then um just gain more life, but I mean, if we keep the uh, Eldritch, we would be able to sack away the Ewit and go get like a Restoration Angel to blink the knight, but I think that's going further than being able to just cast the Ewit, they take care of it and then we can still just Ewit and bring back the knight to gain more life. So, No red sources yet. Hmm. It's interesting for our opponent. Okay, they're just going to concede. All right. We're obviously amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my camera just dropped from that. All right. Let's make sure that's back in a good spot. <laughs> Uh, got too excited. Too excited. All right, four and O. Oh, let's see if we can make the dream happen in five O oh, after this reset. We can hang out with the cool kids on here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last match for this deck. Well, we might play this deck again. This deck's pretty sweet. Um, this is a solid hand. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. Let's let's keep this. We're gonna get a turn three Vanifar, which is pretty awesome already, and then. We'll be able to drop the Scrib Ranger and win from there. Is Marty? No. I was curious if Marty was an opponent we already went against. This looks like Shadow. Looks like we're out of Wall of Roots or Scrib. wall. I want to grab the breeding pool here to make sure we have 
blue mana. All right, Kiki's not the draw we wanted to see, so let's pass it back. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about this version here. We like so this version is not running click, so we can't tuck Kiki back into our deck. It's not running Vizier of Menagerie, so he can't cast it, and it doesn't have the lands to cast it. Um, so if you draw Kiki Jiki, it's just it's stuck in your hand unless you get all the birds. Looks like they got themselves a 5-5. Five, five. We're not a scrib. They're gonna draw a bunch of cards. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty. Well, we're not gonna block with that scrib ranger, I wouldn't say. So we're gonna just beat them for one. This is less than ideal draws for sure. Okay, well there goes a Scrib Ranger. And there's a Shadow, okay. Well, our shot's pretty much just running out of Vanifar and seeing if that's good enough. Dismember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's actually a game unless we top deck a Reflector Mage. Nope, that's just game. Sadness. Okay. So. For them, I actually want to bring in these uh, Avalanche Riders and the Magus of the Moon. I think these are going to be pretty sweet. Fanks is going to be able to block them for a good bit, so that'll be nice. Is Geist good enough? I don't feel like he is. Deputy's a bit awkward. They pack so much removal. Um, I don't think we really have the time or the mana to set up for these cords, so I'm going to cut those. Do we want to cut the Eldritch Evolutions? Because those are kind of punishing if they stub us and we sack a creature. Would we rather just try to negate them? I think we would. Okay, let's try this. This isn't bad. Ramp and Ract of mm, Spells with Negate. We can bring back stuff. We got an Ooze that's going to become quite the threat. So yeah, let's do this. We'll start off with shocking ourselves and running out that bird. Thought sees us. Let's see what they want to take. Whatever they take, we can just bring back with Ewit because we're cool. So they just took our Ewit. Let's run out the wall and then we get to hold up Negate. E, e for two is good enough for us to negate. Ooh, Vanifar. Ship it back. What up, God Reese? Thanks for joining. Yeah, we're far all already, so this is uh, pretty fun.
Alright, they're gonna fail push our prime speaker. That's sad. Thought scour themselves and probably run out of 5-5. Five five. Nope, just a shadow. We're okay with that, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess let's make our monster grow. Hmm, dismember. How sad. It's looking rough, folks. We need to top deck a good card right now. That's not bad. It slows them down a little bit. We're not applying any pressure, though. Which is a little awkward. One shadow and two unknowns in hand. That's Gower. Gets rid of their Gormog. Okay. I think that's more lands than they ever really want to see, so that's good for us. What game is this? This is game two. We lost game one. It's a hard cast straight wraith. Okay. I think we're just passing. We're gonna hold up this resto. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. Block there. Resto. Resto on the reflector. Yes. Bounce the death shadow. What else you got for us, opponent? Snap Dismember, Snap Thought Scour. Well, I'm gonna drop this Noble, and I'm gonna swing in the air for, yes! Okay, that was pretty good, that was pretty good. Um. I guess we should bring in the cleric. Yeah, I feel like we should bring in the cleric. Let's cut one Vanifar for that. land had two this hand had two lands i would be all in but uh i can't keep a one lander on this it's too risky they run so many removal spells that we just get this hand ripped apart um this is fine yeah let's keep this and we'll ship the club uh yeah we'll ship the cleric i like the voice here more than that and i want to keep our mana dudes so Run out the bird. 
It is, in fact, the word that we want. Okay, that's a push. That's really rude. That's fine. We got a wall into another bird, I suppose. All right, let's Gormog. All right, let's wall of roots into a bird. We'll pass it over. If we get to untap, we are so avalanche riding them. That's a thought series. What are you gonna take, opponent? No, take the voice. I was actually going to be sad no matter what they took there, to be fair, so. All the shadows. Mm -mm -mm. The voice is not bad. Okay, Avalanche Rider or... We can prime speaker or we can voice. Voice can block or mic angler. Wall can block the shadow. It's prime speaker. Upside of running out prime speaker is if we get to untap, we should win. Riders is a free block. We would take six. Hmm. All right, I will listen to you, Reese. All right, so if I block here and they Battle Rage, 16, Absorb 3. I think we have to block, so. Yes. Sack like that. I mean, tap like that. We can sack it, get Scrib Ranger. Scrib Ranger, untap, bounce that. Lay that out. And then we'll sack the Scrib Ranger. Get the rallier, rallier back the scrib. Scrib will untap that again. We'll sack this again. Get a bell ringer. Sack the rallier. Get a resto. Resto's gonna blink this bell ringer. Sack the resto. Get a Kiki. Kiki targets the bell ringer. What do you got, opponent? Oh, we made it. Alrighty. Let's get assurances here. You are, in fact, the best player ever. Okay, they conceded. We got the 5-0. Woo! <laughs> uh, all right, that was sweet. On the board, 
Oh, man. Okay. That deck was sweet. Let's run it again. All right. So I'm going to end this recording.